I am going to show you how you can create your own AI avatars. You can create shorts like this. So I have this video here that I made one month ago, you can see it here. In the last month, Polo AI has made a lot of changes. They have a new avatar video generator, they have launched Nano Banana, they have Sea Dream 4.0, and then they made update to their avatar generator. They have one-click multi-scene AI short, and then they added even more video models, and then even more video models. And that's just in the last like 30 days. As you can see from the intro, the quality is really good, and it is super easy to use. As always, I'll have a link in the description below. As mentioned, we are using Polo AI. So on the left side here, we have some options. We can do AI avatar, we can do AI shorts. So let's start off with AI shorts because it's actually really cool and really easy to use. So we can just do like just a short, an anime short. We can do a smoothing short or an animal short. And if we scroll down, we can actually see all the different ones that other people have made. So say we want to check out like this bunny one here, we can view it and we can see the rabbit eating the carrot. We can even copy this prompt in and we can make modifications to make it our own if we want. So we are back at the top here. Let's create an animal short. So it is really, really simple. We're going to click this and you're going to see on the left here, we have animal shorts. We can upload a character, which is optional, or we can just put in a topic. All right. So I have my topic in there. I just have a prompt about a dog trying to get a cookie off the counter and we can choose our background music. So I'm going to leave it to automatic. And then we have an option here so we can put like how many seconds per shot we want it to be. So we can do like three seconds a shot all the way up to 10 seconds a shot. So let's go with like five seconds a shot and then we can choose like four shots. So that's going to give us a 20 second vertical short animation with our dogs. And then we're going to hit create and you're going to see it here. It's going to start generating for us. And I want to point something out because this is actually really important. You're going to notice this one here. It actually said video generation failed. And I love the fact that the credits get returned to my account because I'm not wasting credits this way. So I really like that, that even though if it fails and it can from time to time, that they're very fair with their credit system. All right, our video is done. And on the right here, you can actually see the topic. It's basically just a, like I mentioned, a little dog laying at a kitchen doorway. It's scratches for cookies and the owner comes in from time to time and says like hey here's your cookies okay. the jar is there you can see the bottom of the paws are very very pink but it is consistent i mean the dog does have really pink paws consistently throughout the video the jar doesn't always have cookies in it though but nonetheless i think it's pretty good for a first shot we can upscale, we can add sound effects, we can add lip syncing, we can even regenerate, and we can make this again. All right, here's the same exact prompt, but version two. And I just basically said, hey, let's just regenerate this. And you'll see here, the dog looks a lot better. He's just kind of laying down. It's very consistent. We can see the jar. He's like trying to jump up for that one jar. And he's like, okay, I can smell it. I know there's something in there. Please help me. And yeah, it it's a lot better. They made it really easy to switch. So if you're on like the animal shorts and you want to switch to like smoothing shorts or anime shorts, you can do it extremely quickly. So we just literally just jumped the entire category here. So let's upload a character this time. And we have my favorite character ever. It's my wife as an AI form. We have AI Dana and let's give it a topic. So the woman rescues a cat from a tree using a ladder. Again, we can choose the like song. We can choose how long per shot. So let's maybe make it four seconds per shot. And again, four sh like different shots. So four times four, 16 seconds. So our video is done here. So we can click in and we can see we have our character that we uploaded. We have AI Dana. She is climbing the ladder to save the cat and the cat is now her friend. So this is really cool. And there she is with her feline friend.
The cat is clearly scared in the beginning. So one prompt, we made a cool little short that we can actually upload on a social platform like YouTube Shorts. But let's talk about AI avatars because they're really cool and there's a really good use case I'm going to show you. And before I do that, I want to remind you to subscribe and cover AI on a daily basis. All right, you're probably wondering why I have a handbag tab open and we're going to use this handbag here that you can see behind my head. Just remember this handbag, it's gonna come back. So let's come back here and let's go to AI avatar. Now we can select an avatar or we can upload our own. So I'm just gonna select one. I'm gonna use one of theirs that's like built in. So you can see like the public avatars, we can see templates that they have. So we can just use a template and they have it by like different categories. So say we want to do bags and accessories. Hey, now you know where I'm going with this. We can pick this lady here so we can create like a similar animation, a similar shot to what we just had. And now we can upload our own product photo. Here is our product photo. We're going to hit generate and it's going to generate four different photos of the same lady holding the bag that we just uploaded. So you're going to see four shots and some of them won't be great. We're going to pick the best one, which is probably this one here. And we're going to hit confirm. Now in the top left, you're going to see our lady holding the bag. We now have a starting image and now we can add a script. Script is I bought this purse from Amazon. It is the best and we can choose the voice we want. There's like a huge variety that you can pick from and you can kind of see them all. I'm going to stick with like the upbeat woman because we're trying to sell a product here. It sounds the best. And then we can see the duration and we can change the rate to change the duration of how long our clip will be. So she's going to talk for 1.8 seconds. There's also like these two modes. So we can do standard, which is just like a fast polished avatar video or like Richard more detail. And if we do more detail, we can actually see like a more detailed prompt so we can add more information to say, hey, maybe she's lifting up the bag and holding it to the camera. So the lady lifts the bag and shows it off to the camera and we can hit create. So now we have our lady holding the bag saying exactly what we want her to say. Here's the output. I bought this purse from Amazon. It is the best. All right, so the voice, the lip sync is really good. She doesn't really hold the bag up like I thought she would, but the quality of it is fantastic. It is literally the bag. It's the, the handbag here is now in this little video clip here. Something I want you to notice is like the little dangling things on the side of the bag. It actually adds physics to it. So you can actually see it dangle. It's not just like stuck on. And because we are using Polo AI, we can do a lot of really cool things with this. So we can like upscale this. We can add sound effects. We can also go video to video if we wanted. And then it is going to bring it up into their video to video screen. So now we're on video to video and we can do kind of fun stuff with this. So maybe we want to make it like an anime. We can do that as well. So we want this to become pixel art. We can just literally one click and now the talking avatar we just created will become literally pixel art. Okay, now you can see the pixel art version of our talking avatar. I bought this purse from Amazon. <laughs> her eyes are hilarious. It worked. It worked. It is a really cool tool because now we can have like AI Dana as a talking avatar. We can put in text that we want her to say. We can pick the voice we want her to say it in. And then we can create a talking avatar of her doing all of this really quickly. Subscribe to this channel. And as I talked about it before, if you go to the text to video tab, they have all sorts of models in here like Sora 2, WAN 2.5, Clink 2.5 Turbo, the list goes on and on. You can see all the different models they have. You can literally basically use any video model you want. They keep updating and adding it in. We are on the video tab. If you go to the image tab and you click like text to image, it's very similar. You're going to see a ton of different image models that you can use. Hello AI is a really cool tool. And as I talked about, and as I showed you, they're very fair with their credits. So if anything fails, you always get them back. Check it out. I have a link in the description below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content. You want to see more of it. Subscribe for more AI. See you tomorrow with another video.